Hey y'all, it's Michelle from Monkey's Creations. Happy New Year. Hope everybody had a safe, happy new year. Wait for a minute, see who pops on here. Say hey when you come in, let me know where you're from. Hey Debbie, how are you? Hey Lori. Hopefully everybody's recovered from last night. Hello, hello. Missouri, uh, called. That's what I think of Missouri. Hey, hey y'all. So I am making a rainbow wreath. Um, for an order and um, I'm winging it y'all because I've never done this so like I always say if you don't learn from me you'll learn what not to do so at least you're learning something <laughs> so I've got this mesh and I got it at Hobby Lobby and it's 10 inch mesh <laughs> Indiana, Michigan, oh my gosh, y'all are making me cold. New Jersey. So I got this rainbow mesh at um, Hobby Lobby. So that's what I'm gonna be using. Um, so it's 10 inch mesh and I cut it at 10 inches. Um, if you do it, you can probably do it smaller. You could probably do it at nine, but I don't know. This is my first time doing this. Um, so if you do, the only thing I can say is if you cut it at 10 inches, you will use the entire roll because you need 36 pieces um, to, to do this, if, if what I'm thinking in my head is right. Now, I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with these outside holes yet, um, but this is the Unique in the Creek flower board that I am using. Um, so I may just go back and add, um, she wanted a bright yellow center. Now this looks odd because I just put a coat of Mod Podge on it. Um, but it, it will be bright um, just to seal it. So this is gonna be the center. Um, so I may go back and just use the outside holes like a single, like a solid color. Um, you know, maybe yellow. Um, I'm in Texas. Hello, hello. Hey y'all, Mississippi. Yes, I'm in Texas. I'm about 30 minutes south of Houston. Um, so that's what we're doing. So this is the unique in the Creek flower board, the large board. Um, so I've already, um, if you guys haven't seen these boards before, you'll see the top two. Um, those are your two hanging holes. So I just took some, some red twine since it matched my, my wreath and, um, hung my hanging holes, um, or my hanging string, which whatever you're going to hang it from, you don't have to use twine you can use ribbon or whatever you could use big ribbon put it up at the top put a big bow and you know whatever you want the sky's the limit so i've already got everything cut and i've already got most of them done so this is it this is what i'm using um as as the uh the uh the petal hey hey y'all um, so I've got a few, I, I left four so y'all could see how I did it. So I will bring y'all down and I've already got all of the uh, zip ties in the board. So once they're all done, you can zip them in and, and you're done. So it's very easy. Um, somebody was asking me earlier what size zip ties I use. Um, so these are the zip ties. Yeah, I, I know that the, the outer ones are for the, the leaves. I just didn't know exactly what I was going to do with them yet. Um, but I'll figure it out. Um, so these are the zip ties that I get from Amazon. There's the number if y'all need it. Um, but they are a thousand pack zip ties, um, 18 pound, five and a half inches. Um, so it's a thousand zip ties for, what was it, seven or eight dollars. Oklahoma first-time viewer well thanks for watching 
What material is that? What, this material? This is just deco mesh. It's heavily foiled deco mesh. So it will fray. So be patient because everything can be trimmed up. All right, so I will bring y'all down and we will get started. So I've been looking for something, trying to figure out something a little different to do. Um, you know, we've all seen the, the basic sunflower folds and, and that kind of thing. Um, and once again, I forgot I was going to set up my, my thing. Oh, well, y'all bear with me. Um, so I've cut these. It's 10 inch mesh. I've cut them at 10 inches. You're going to do it with the curved side up. You're going to put it into a diamond and you're just going to take these two corners roll them in on themselves now i did most of this hold on let me grab it i did most of this sitting in front of the tv or watching netflix um so I have this littler board, so to make sure that I got them even, so you want the, the seam side up, and then I just take it in the middle, scrunch it, flip it up, and that's the pedal I'm going to be using. Now once you get it on the board, you can kind of move them around. Any, I'm drinking water, y'all. Water and uh, Diet Dr. Pepper. <laughs> but y'all can do anything you want to do. <laughs> Hello, y'all. So that's the pedal I'm going to be using. And then I just took a, uh, a um, God, I can never remember the name of these. Um, clothespin. And I just clothespin the end. Just like that. Okay. Hello, Dave. How are you? So I'm going to do a few more so y'all can see how I did it. So curbside up. Diamond shaped. Take your two ends. Curl them in on themselves. Just like that. Seam is up. Find your middle, scrunch it, and then fold it up. <laughs> Good. So that's it. Now, like I said, I have not done this before, so I will see how it looks on the board, but it's, it's different. It's, um... What did everybody end up? Y'all, I was sleeping by, uh, I think I was sleeping by 10.30. Yes, I rolled it. Take your two ends and then roll them. I wish I'd set up my laptop. Roll them together. So that it looks something like that. And then your straight line is up. Find your middle. Ah. Find your middle. Scrunch the middle. And then just flip it up. That's it. That easy. So one more and then we can just start throwing them in. So who makes New Year's resolutions? Anybody? I don't because I'll be the first to admit I just break them. 
All right. So I've already got. They're they're ten by ten. It's a ten inch roll that I cut. Um, ten inches. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's just something different. So I've already got one in. So all I'm gonna do is go in and just, I've already got the zip ties going. Now I saved, you know, the, the inside where it's, it's tighter. Um, so they look kind of wonky. Uh, so what I did was I actually saved those for the center um, just to give it a little flair and maybe they'll, they'll flatten out. <laughs> Never. Um, once once I get the uh, the center in there, and you can do so many things with this center. I even found, and I forgot I even had these. If y'all haven't seen these, they're um, I forget what they're called, um, but they're just little um, gems on a, a, a pen. So you could just stick those in there and decorate them with that. Um, if you wanted a little more bling, uh, you could coat it. You could use, um, and these come in all different colors. Um, you could use glitter. You could use so many things. But um, yeah, so let's get these in. So it should make it, should go pretty quickly. You just wanna make sure that you keep the same amount. Now you can pull this in more if you wanted a shorter flower, um, but y'all know me, I'm extra and you know, it's gotta be big. So I put as little in there as I possibly can. About one finger length is, is about what I was thinking. And then just zip tie it in there. And I couldn't find my my um thingamabobber glitter and balls absolutely <laughs> and then once you we get them all on here th these will kind of i'm hoping will kind of come together but we shall see Kind of zipping them in there. Happy New Year. And I'm just gonna cut these as we go. You don't have to, you can wait till you're done with the whole roll. Happy New Year, guys. We didn't do anything last night. I think I was in bed by 10.30. Well, actually, I was in bed probably by 10.15 and probably sleeping by 10.30. I think this is the first year I have not brought in the new year. But, you know, I'm 50. I'm 50 now, so I'm old. I got this mesh at Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby. And then once you, you get them on here, you can you can kind of play with them and and move them up. They're not going to be exact, but and I don't even know if this is even going to turn out, y'all. First time watching. Well, thanks for watching. Where did I get this form? This is a flower frame from Unique in the Creek. So it's a, a plastic frame, so it works great outdoors. It's weatherproof. Yeah, so at Unique in the Creek, they have the flower boards, they have the character boards, um, they have trees, they have horses, they have so many things. How did I cut the mesh? With my rotary cutter. It's not a rotary, it's a rotary cutter. <laughs> Yep, that's how I cut it, 10 inches. 10 inches, 10 inches. 
You're welcome. <laughs> she knows who I'm talking about. Well, thanks for watching. I'm not old. I'm just 50. <laughs> what are the dimensions? They are 10 by 10. It's 10 inch mesh cut at 10 inches. But I'm winging it. It may not even work. So we shall see. See. Yeah, it is pretty mesh and it's the heavily foiled. So you definitely have to it's going to fray y'all. There I mean, unless you use a wood burning tool, um you're not going to get away from it. I can get in here because I can't. My eyes must be getting bad, y'all. Because I can barely see these comments. Hello. Thanks for watching. So nobody did anything exciting? I can't even live vicariously through y'all? I know we can't all be old. Got to be some young people in here somewhere. <clears throat> so I am just trying to make sure that these rolled up before I zip them. 56. That's young. That's young. Oops, I missed it. in bed by nine. Heck no, I don't know how to work it. 62. Okay, we're getting up there. Anybody 63? Who's 63? Oh, 64. I got this mesh from Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby. Too many things on my table. I'll quit. Now I have to remember my old password or my new one because I got hacked and had to change it. So hopefully I remember. Ugh. Seventy. Uh oh. We have seventy-one. Seventy-one. Oh, there's seventy-one. Okay. I 
can come in. Now if I can find my live, we'll be doing good. And then I can see Sorry, y'all. I should have done this earlier, but okay. Because I just can't see. Oh my gosh, never mind. 31 is spent New Year's Eve sleeping. <laughs> okay, I don't feel so bad then if you're 31 and, and brought in the New Year sleeping. <laughs> hey, you too. How are you doing? How many 10 by 10? You need 36. And it will use an entire roll of 10 inch mesh. Why can I not find my own live? Oh, there I am. Yeah. I love these colors too. I'm not really, I just this mesh, y'all. It just frays. Yeah. Oh no. Okay, how do I? <laughs> I don't know how to turn down my volume. Oh, goodness. Okay, yeah. I am not listening to myself. It's going off. Forget it. <laughs> 49, awesome. It is. I, I do believe they call it... Hold on, I'll grab the other one. No, it's actually called ombre mesh. That's it right there. So ombre mesh. Just heavily foiled. All right, last one on the outside. And then we Go to the next roll, row, row, row. Well, I'm not gonna get too worried about these sprays right now because until you quit messing with it, it's gonna keep fraying. So we'll just keep going. Oh, thank you so much. Where do you where do you purchase what? Where do where did I purchase the the mesh? Hello Jennifer, how are you? You don't have the new form. It will still work on the old on the old board. Yes. 
what um, because I was I was kind of playing um, you can it's actually a little bit easier on the old board because I'll show you in just a second because on the old boards they would go up and down so you could just you could just do this right here and zip it through here rather than bringing them together and zipping it right here does that make sense I hope that makes sense so I mean it'll give you the same result you just have to the outcome you know or the process just a little bit different hey Barbara what are you gonna like off jetting again where are you traveling now that you can't hang with me huh 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 it goes pretty quickly once you get the, the prep done it doesn't take too long and it, it looks like it's covering the board pretty well um, so if you're if you're gonna do this method I would suggest a very heavily fold mesh Definitely not a thin mesh unless you spray your board because you may see it through there. Um, but I'm not, not sure yet. Once I get more of it done, I can better tell you. Birthday, yeah. Ah, awesome. I never know with you. You're always going somewhere. Still just you want to make sure that you kind of keep the same length on the outside so I'm still kind of putting my finger there so I know exactly where I'm at. Louisiana, awesome. Mardi Gras coming up. Actually kind of liking this y'all I wasn't sure when I started it oh that's awesome enjoy your visit all right we got two more rolls It would, it, yeah, it could be Mardi Gras. They have, um, they do have Mardi Gras mesh that this would look awesome. And you could put like a, like a mask, like right in the middle of it. How cool would that look? Or a fleur de lis unicorn. Absolutely. So many things. So many ideas. You can do you just gotta think outside the box oops I about lost it uh oh okay I got it I got it I 
Yeah, it's covering the board really well, y'all. So. You shouldn't, if you're using the heavily foiled, you shouldn't have to paint your board. But the thinner mesh, you're probably definitely gonna wanna, gonna wanna, gonna wanna paint it. Rainbow bright. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing, y'all. I appreciate it. So earlier today, I was working on my Etsy shop. So I'm going to get that up and running within the next day or two. So working on that. I need to add to my Pinterest account. So if y'all haven't seen that, go check it out. So many things, a lot of changes this year. And I'm hoping they all work, but I kind of did baby steps last year. So this year, I think toward the end of January will be my first official year in business. So it's it's been an exciting, scary, eye-opening year for me, but it's it's been fun riding the roller coaster. But everything is starting to come together and I'm missing so many comments. But um I'll go back through and I'll I'll scroll through them and see if I missed any any questions, but my friends on here should be able to answer if you have any and I miss it. If I can get some of my children to move out of here, I might, you know, be able to get out of the kitchen and have my own craft room. I am going to the convention. Yes, ma'am. Are you? I heard, was it Lori that posted the tickets were on sale? I think it was. But yes, I am going. I'm excited to see everybody again. Thank you so much. It'll be, yeah, more toward the end. I, I have to look at the, I want to say the 18th, 19th, something around that. Now, here's where you're going to want to decide how big a center you want. Um, now, because mine is a little bit smaller, I'm definitely going to put another row, row, row. Y'all, I can't talk. Is it higher this year? I heard um, somebody mentioned something, but I wasn't sure if they were talking about the Crafters Convention or um, Wreath Makers Live. Business coach. Yes, yeah, so I'll, I'll have to go check it out. I haven't, um, I think they just went on sale, so. Um, so if you're going with the, the bigger center, now this obviously, definitely, no, even with the bigger center, you wanna put one, one more roll, one more row. Business day, 20th and 29th craft days. Oh, wow. Well. Are you going to all three days? So it'll be three this year instead of two, huh? Yeah, 350 is definitely, well, Wreath Makers Live is already sold out. Oh, so it's 450. Oh, wow. The 
I better have a good breakfast. You want me to show you how to make the fold? I've got a, a scrap piece I can definitely show you. In just a minute, let me get the rest of these on. And then I will be more than happy to show you how I did it. Are they? Yeah. Well, I was kind of, that's usually when we, we go on vacation and, you know, when the tickets were first sold out, I was like, okay, well, we're just going on vacation. And then they came back open and who knows? So that is the last one, but I don't like it. Let me, cause I can still see the board right here. If you can see that, you can still see too much of the board for me. Only doing lunch. They better give me some breakfast for that price. Oh. Huh, I'll have to go through and read it. Um, but even, now you're, I don't know. I just don't like that. Let me, this is kind of dry. So you would still be able to see the four corners. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut four more pieces. And if you can see, this is where this one is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probably run from this hole to this hole. Now I'm gonna add a zip tie that way as well to cover up more of my board. Did you? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go this, to, this hole to this hole and I'm gonna put four more pieces. Which is perfect since y'all, but you're getting into your second row. Oh, okay. So if you do, if you do cut your mesh at nine inches, you may be able to get four more pieces out of it and still only use one row one roll um, but because I did mine 10 by 10 then um, I've got to open another one but do yours 9 by 9 and you should not have to open another one sorry let me get these out of the way okay so let me cut four more. I need to change my blade. And I got a new, oh my gosh, I got a new glue gun, y'all. Well, thanks for watching. Exactly. Nine by 10, you can definitely get away with one roll. 10 by 10, not so much. Okay, so we've got four more pieces. Okay. Well, let me, I'll show y'all how I fold it before I bring that back. So, all right, so curve side is up. Thank you so much. Curve side is up. You're gonna put it in a diamond shape. 
you're going to take your two corners and you're just going to roll them in just like that with your seam on top. Find your center, scrunch it, and gather it just like that. And then I just close pin it right there. The boards are Unique in the Creek boards. So you can find them on Facebook. Go to Unique in the Creek, the shop button, and it will take you directly to their page. Um, they have flower boards, character boards, horse, tree. Um, so curbside up again, corner to corner. To where it meets in the middle. Find your center, scrunch it, bring it up, and clip it. There you go. Thank you, Barbara. Oh yeah, and today's 20% off, y'all, of the, the uh, character boards and the flower boards. Um, so yeah, if you haven't tried the boards yet and you want to try them, perfect opportunity because they're on sale only through midnight so don't everybody run off until i'm done and then once i'm done you can run over to their facebook page and order your boards but you have to finish watching me first okay all right so curbside up corner to corner roll find your center scrunch and bring it up Easy peasy. Yeah, their boards are awesome. Was waiting for the digitals to get loaded. Oh my God, she's got some of the cutest digital prints right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go, go look. That bunny is just to die for. And I've got the cute little bunny ears left over from last year and the little feet. Oh my goodness, yeah. <laughs> Stay with me. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Absolutely. Cuz I mean this even, you know, it's I hate I'm I'm OCD, y'all. If y'all haven't figured that out yet, I am. I'll admit it. I am OCD. So I, you know, but breathing is not perfect. I understand that, but if there's a way I can get it close, then I'm gonna get it close. I know, I, I just did the monogram as well. Well, I, I ordered it, I think it's in my inbox. I haven't printed it yet. Um, so I'm just gonna go, so right here was called a hole. So to add these extra ones, I'm gonna go from here to here, from here to here, here to here, and here to here, okay? And just in case y'all can't see that, that's what I'm doing. Well, I can't find my hole. There it is. So I'm adding four more. I'm getting stuck on my shirt. Well, hello. Thanks for watching. <clears throat> Just adding four more in here real quick. Yeah. 
No, I use a, a rotary cutter to cut my mesh. Yeah. Okay. So let's get these four added and see what it looks like. Hobby Lobby. The mesh came from Hobby Lobby. And y'all, their scissors are 50% off. So if you need scissors. Oh, that one just slid right out. I don't know my own strength. And I'm not going to be able to get that back in there. And I got a new hot glue gun, and it's um, it's cordless, y'all. I am so excited. Oh, look, I'm about to put that in my mouth. But I'm not gonna. I'm gonna lay it right there. <laughs> so I got a cordless hot glue gun. I get so tired of that cord getting in my way. All right. I'll try this again. A glue skillet, yeah. I didn't, uh, mine isn't, mine's just a, um, it's not a glue skillet per se, it's a, an electric skillet. That's all I use. And then I just cut up glue sticks and put in there. It works perfect. Works perfect. All right, last one and we can see where we're at. Do they have a round one? Yes, ma'am. This is the round one. This is the large flower frame. Um, and they've got the, the character frames that are round as well. All right. Okay, so that's what I did. You can see that I just fully filled in that center. So now you cannot see that board. Isn't that fun? Yes, if it's not tight enough, they will slip out. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm just going to kind of fluff it up here just in case I got kind of fix your petals if they need fixing. Make sure all your curves are up. I'm just making sure this is dry. And then you just will glue that center right down in there. See, look at this thing, y'all. Is that not awesome? Totally cordless. Yeah, it doesn't take much for me to get excited. So I am using Gorilla Glue. Oh, but you know what? I didn't load the um, I didn't load the glue, so it's 
is having a hard time here. So I'm just making sure I get on those edges. And then I'm gonna put some right down on that as well, just to make sure I get good coverage. And then I'm just gonna stick that right down on there. And I'm gonna hold it for a couple minutes. All right, have a good day. Getting fancy in my old age. Oh my goodness. Where has that been all my life? I do, I just, I get tired of that daggone cord getting in my way and there's never enough. I can never be close enough to it. It's just a foam center, just a styrofoam center that I painted. She wanted it a bright yellow, so that's what she's getting. But you can, I mean, you can paint them any color. Um, you can add anything to them, glitter, those, um, those little stick pen things that I showed y'all um, are really cute. I'm just holding this down, I wanna make sure I'm gonna make sure that I get it adhered. And y'all can see, y'all, I mean, this stuff, it just frays, but you just gotta be patient and, and clip it. Get that one turned around. All right. So that, that's the back, that's what the back looks like. So if you needed to, I mean, you could still do, you know, every other one here, um, depending on what mesh you're using. Um, so we'll bring y'all up. Hobby Lobby. Look at that, y'all. How awesome. I do spray the, my wreaths. So it will get sprayed before it gets in the mail. Yes, there's, there's 36 holes and then you could still see too much of the board. So I added four more inside petals. That's actually pretty cool, y'all. What do y'all think? It's 10 by 10, so it's 10 inch mesh cut at 10 inches. I'll move y'all back so you don't have to, to look right under my nose to probably see up my nose. I used a Krylon sealer. Um, let's see, let me start on my side. Oh, I actually have some in the house. So it's a, a, I use a clear gloss, or uh, Rust-Oleum, sorry, I don't know why I kept saying Krylon. Rust-Oleum is, is what I use. Um, so it's non-yellowing, which is what you wanna make sure that you look for. Um, non-yellowing, fast drying, and UV resistant. Why do, you, why do I spray them? Just to help protect them from the sun. To help them, so I mean, eventually they're gonna fray or um, Eventually, they're going to lose their color anyway. Um, but if I can, you know, prolong that, then um, that's what I do. I mean, if if you can get, you know, it's it's gonna it's gonna fade. It's gonna lose its color eventually, no matter what you do. But you know, I just try to make it use. Yeah, don't use matte, especially if you have the full because it, it will dull it. And yes, it definitely helps the fraying as well. 
Um, so, you know, when you're touching and, and messing with it, your mesh is going to fray. Um, as soon as you stop touching it, it it's not going to just sit there and fray. But um, it will help prevent the fraying. And you can also use hairspray. And I've got... I don't know where it's at right now. My stuff is in such, it's, it's E6000 has a spray that you can use as well. If you, okay, if you cut your, because I cut my mesh at 10 by 10, I had to break open, I had to add four extra petals to cover the board. Um, so I had to open another roll. If you do your petals, cut them at nine inches, you will not have to open up another roll. You can still use just one roll. Yep, bows as well. Usually I'll spray the entire wreath. Whatever's on there gets sprayed. Yeah, I used one roll plus four pieces, but cut it nine inches and just one, you'll just, you won't have to use a second row. roll. <laughs> Yeah, E6000 spray works as well. Oh, I, I can show you. Hold on, I've got a scrap piece right here. Not of that. I'm not going to cut another piece of that. But So I cut it at 10 inches. The curved side. So oh, I need to bring y'all back down. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> yep, aqua. Or yeah, any kind of hairspray. Aquanet worked on my hair in the 80s, so I'm sure it'll work on a wreath. I think I had this biggest hair. All right, so curved side up. Put it in a diamond shaped, and just take any two corners across from each other, and I just kind of roll them. Well, this is jute mesh, so it's a little bit harder to work with. Roll it until they meet in the middle, scrunch it, and then bring it up. And that's your fold. Easy peasy. Awesome. Uh, yeah, I just, um, she, I think it's it's in my inbox. I haven't um, sent it to the printer yet, um, but I'm going to do one as well. Thank you so much. Any other questions? So 36, so 40 petals is what I use total. Um, so if you cut it at 9 by 9, or at, if you cut it at 9 inches, one roll is enough. Mm-hmm. Okay, not a problem. You got it now. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's just yellow paint. It's um, unique in the creek. Oh, it's actually on the back of the board. Let me see. Unique in the creek. Yep, there it is, if you can see that. And it kind of, the, the spray kind of weighs them, weighs them down as well. The frame is from Unique in the Creek. It's a Unique in the Creek um, large flower frame. That's what that is. You're welcome. Hobby Lobby. The mesh came from Hobby Lobby. Although my Hobby Lobby doesn't have any more because I bought it all. Sorry. Okay. Well, if there's no other questions... Yes, unique in the creek. 
Any other questions? It's the last chance. You can ask me anything. First time, where do we get the backs from? You're you talking, you're welcome. Are you talking the frame? Is that the back you're talking about? The frame? Yes, it's in the regular section. Regular mesh, mesh section. I missed that comment about the... Um, the cordless gun came from um, Hobby Lobby. It was... Um, I believe it was $27, but I used my 40% off coupon. The center again is just styrofoam balls. They are four and a half inch half balls. The frame came from Unique in the Creek. They're on Facebook, you can just, um, Go to the search, hit Unique in the Creek. Um, hit the, um, have a good afternoon. Hit the uh, shop button. It'll take you directly to their page where you, all the frames and digital prints are as well. So yeah, these are the balls. They're just four and a half inch half balls um, that worked perfect for um, Sunflower Centers. But I need to, they also, oh, I could have, no, that's too dark. They do have these flower centers, which I love using. If y'all haven't seen these, I get these from the wreath shop, and they fit perfectly in the center as well. Um, I think that's too dark for that wreath, but um, I just painted it. Yeah, if, if she wants, um, you know, I can go back and, and do something else. But these pens are um, great ideas as well. If y'all haven't seen these, I showed them earlier. But they're, they're just little gems on a pen head. Um, oops, I'm in the wrong place. Um, and we'll stick right inside the styrofoam. I'm going to use the other side. So they'll stick right in there. And if you, you know, whatever color the styrofoam is painted, we'll pick it up and it'll show through that. Um, I got these pens from Amazon. And I forget what they're called. They're called, I don't remember, but they come in different colors. They've got blue, um, red, clear. Um, so yeah, I got them from Amazon. Any other questions? Did I answer everybody? I hope I answered everybody. If not, I'll, I'll go back through and um, make sure I didn't miss any questions. But yeah, here's the, the glue gun. It comes with a base. That's it, Lomi pens. Thank you, thank you, y'all. Um, so the base just plugs in. Um, and then that sits right down in there and charges. And then you got a place to put it on the bath. And and it's, yeah, I love it. It's my first time using it, but I love it. Show the back of the board. Here is the back of the board. All neat, nothing to scratch the doors. And you can put your your logo right to the board um, or pen, or um, stickers. I know Lori was talking about the stickers on her live last night um, and I need to, to look into that. I, I would love to get some of those. Um, I need to make my, my cord shorter. That's bu bugging me. What's the glue gun brand? Let's see, let me see, I've got it right here. Super Bonder, cordless glue gun. Oh, it was $29.99. So definitely use your 40% off coupon. 
And Fiskars, oh, that's what it was. Fiskars is what I use for um, to cut my my uh, ribbon. I don't know. I've never used them. I've had them forever. Um, I'm sure it would take a lot, and I don't remember how many pens come. I mean, there's quite a few in there, so I'm sure that would be enough to completely cover it. Um, but I've, I've never, I've never, I haven't even played with them. Absolutely. Felt on top is, is a great idea. Yeah, and you can get those any color. Okay. Any other questions? All right, well, I'm gonna jump off of here. Thanks for watching, y'all. Um, if you have any questions once I get off of here. Yes, you can make a center. And I had thought about that too because I have some, um, I have yellow uh, tubing that, you, that I could have, have used as well. Yes, I just glued it right to the board and right to the mesh. But yeah, that would, that, I didn't even, I thought about it, but then I have to, maybe I'll go play with that. But yeah, you can do it right to the board as well. There, I mean, there's so many things y'all can do with this board. You just have to play. Go play. Happy New Year to you as well. Thank you. All right. Well, I'm out of here. Y'all have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.